Hi everyone, in this episode we're going to have a look at the ability command in Minecraft Education. Okay, so this command is made up of several different elements, starting with the slash command, which is just forward slash ability. But you do need to know the target, so the, whether it's the, the nearest player or whether it's everyone. And then which of the three abilities do you want to basically enable or disable? So you can choose between Mayfly, which is basically can you fly or not, Mute, which is muting a player, or whether you want to give them world builder privileges, which means they can kind of place and destroy pretty much anywhere in the world. It's then followed on by an optional element in that command, just basically true or false. By writing true, it just ensures that it's enabled. By writing false, it ensures that it is disabled. Now, you don't have to write this one in, but if you miss the true or false, it just basically changes whatever the current state is. So for this example, we're going to have a look at the Mayfly option and we're going to make it change between true or false depending on whether it's day or night time. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop in two command blocks here. And so in this one here, we're going to write the option for if that it will change if it is night time. So we're going to make it true. So we're going to go um, forward slash ability at let's just do the nearest player but you could maybe do at all if you wanted everyone in the world to be able to fly may fly and then we make that true if it's nighttime and so to do that i'm going to use a daylight sensor that's going to be my trigger so i'm going to hold down shift and place it down remember you can have lots of different triggers for lots of different reasons um <clears throat> this is just suits this scenario now to make that nighttime, I'm going to right click on that again and that'll switch that over to that blue which is picking up the night. Now let's click on this one, it's going to be pretty much the same again, ability at the nearest player. We're going to switch that to may fly and we're going to make it false though if it's daytime. And so then we just put down the traditional daylight sensor you do have to hold shift when you place it down otherwise it just keeps opening the command block okay so let's test it out what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this button here just to test it out in our training world will essentially switch me back to survival mode so it makes this relevant but because it's now night time that sensors pick that up even though I'm in survival I can fly around so I can move through here avoid the lava underneath and whoops totally not avoiding it <laughs> and then landing in potentially safely but anyway in this case here i'm going to just switch this back to daytime and we will notice up in the top left hand screen it says that this is back into creative mode now i change it back to creative mode just so that you can keep progressing but essentially what it would do if i kept you in survival is that it would change you back you know it would basically revoke your ability to fly so the idea of this is that normally if you're implementing this scenario is that it would just be based on the daylight cycle so your player could only fly at night and then as the sun starts coming up they lose that ability to fly so that's the ability command lots of different ways you can use it i hope you enjoy it and we will see you again soon cheers Thank you.